All right, hello and welcome to the Words for Vocabulary Unit 10, Level E. Our first word is acquiesce, which is a verb. It means to accept without protest or to agree or submit. And this little kid uh, went to the corner for timeout. He didn't put up a fight. He didn't you know, cause any problems. He just went right there. So he acquiesced and went right to the corner for his timeout. He knew he did something wrong. The synonym is to comply with and the antonym is to resist. Our second word is allure. Allure, allure is a verb. It's also a noun. It means to entice or to tempt or a strong attraction or the power to attract. And this Thanksgiving turkey is very alluring um, before it's even served, but don't, don't try to eat anything before mom or dad puts it on the table and just says it's time to eat. The synonym for allure is tantalize, and the antonym is to turn off. Third word is askew. And that picture that you see in the uh, photograph is definitely askew. Uh, it's an adverb. It could also be an adjective. It means twisted to one side or crooked. The synonym is awry, and the antonym is symmetrical. Next word is blithe, and blithe is an adjective. It means cheerful, lighthearted, or casual. The little girl is very happy. She's very cheerful. She's having a wonderful day. Uh, blithe has both a synonym and an antonym, and the synonym is nonchalant and the antonym is morose. Next word is contentious. Uh, contentious is an adjective. It means quarrelsome or inclined to argue, and these two uh, people here are definitely in an argument. Uh, the synonym for contentious is argumentative, and the antonym is amiable. Number seven is, sorry, number six is covet. Uh, covet is a verb. It means to desire something that is belonging to another. This picture here, the little girl is mad that the little boy took a kiss from the first little girl, not from her. Um, the synonym is to crave, and the antonym is to despise. Crestfallen is our next word. Uh, it's an adjective. It's discouraged, dejected, or downcast. And this person looks like a soccer player, maybe, maybe missed a goal or something, or his team lost, so he would definitely be crestfallen at that. The synonym is uh, disconsolate and the antonym is cheerful. Next word is disheveled, and disheveled is an adjective. It means rumpled, must, or hanging in disorder. Uh, this person tried to class up the joint by wearing a shirt and tie, but they didn't tuck their shirt in, so that would be a little disheveled. The synonym is disarranged, and the antonym is tidy. Next word is exponent. An exponent that you know most often is probably the math term, uh, which is the uh, the power to which a number, symbol, or expression is to be raised. But it's also a noun, which means one who advocates or speaks for. So I took a picture of someone who is a lawyer, and that's what an exponent in the terms of the law would be. The synonym for exponent is a defender, and the antonym is an adversary. Next one is garrulous, and garrulous is an adjective. It means given too much talking or tediously chatty, and uh, this person just doesn't know when to stop talking. Uh, the synonym for that one is loquacious, and the antonym is taciturn, which means you don't like to talk. Next one is insufferable. And insufferable means incapable of being overcome, and it is an adjective. The picture I have there is uh, Neil Armstrong climbing down the ladder to be the first man to step onto the foot, the foot of the moon. Uh, so insufferable, incapable of being overcome, you know, that, that's what people were saying to President Kennedy and to NASA, and obviously they were able to do that. Uh, the synonym for insufferable is insurmountable, and the antonym is conquerable. Next word is lamentable, and lamentable is an adjective. It means to be regretted or pitied, and this is a picture of someone who looks like they're getting bullied, and obviously most people would have sympathy for the kid that's getting bullied. Um, so they would be lamentable. The uh, synonym for that is regrettable, and the antonym is commendable. Our next word is misnomer, and the picture is a little bit weird, I know, uh, but you'll see in a second why I chose it. Misnomer it means it's an, in, it's an unsuitable or misleading name. So uh, this person just so happens to be nicknamed Tiny, and obviously that's a misnomer because he's gigantic. Uh, the synonym for that one is misnaming, and there is no antonym. Next word is profess, and it's a verb. It means to affirm openly, uh, and this is a picture of someone getting married, and when you do that, you're professing that you love the person, and you're going to spend the rest of your life with them. Uh, the synonym is proclaim. The antonym is disavow. 
Our next word is respite, and a respite is a period of relief or rest, and it is a noun. This person is taking a nap, so that would be a period of relief or rest. Synonym for that word is an intermission. Think of uh, at a play, you have a little rest time to go to the bathroom, to get something to drink, something to eat. There is no antonym. Next word is retribution. This person is a uh, you know, picture of a person in jail. So retribution is a noun. It's a repayment or a deserved punishment. So the person did something that warranted them to go to jail. The retribution is that they get put in jail. It's their punishment. The synonym for that one is recompense. Sinuous is our next word. Uh, it's an adjective. It means winding or having many curves. It also means lithe and flexible. Uh, so this road is obviously sinuous. Uh, the synonym for that one is twisting. Antonym is unbending. Next word is sonorous. And these words, sinuous and sonorous, are very similar in terms of the way you pronounce them, so don't get them confused. They do mean different things, though. Uh, sonorous is an adjective. It's full, deep, or rich sound. So think of like sonar um, being dealing with sound. Kind of actually even looks like the word sound a little bit. Um, so this is a little stereo system around a flat screen TV, so that would be obviously sonorous. The synonym for that one is resounding, and the antonym is harsh. Vanguard is the next word, and vanguard is a noun. It means the foremost part of an army or the leading position in any field. A lot of companies, uh, small businesses, are called vanguard, you know, vanguard accounting or something like that. It means they're the leading, they want to be known as a leading accounting firm. I chose the picture of an iPhone and also a Samsung cell phone. I think those are the two of the best uh, and leading uh, companies in terms of cell phones. They are the vanguards. Uh, the synonym is forefront. Antonym is stragglers, people that are hanging behind. And finally, our last word is wastrel. And a wastrel is a wasteful person, a spendthrift, uh, somebody who just you know, thro literally throws money away. So that's your picture you'll see there. Uh, the synonym for that one is a loafer and the antonym for that one is a tightwad somebody who doesn't like to spend money all right get to studying